Luke Tanaka here with Elmhurst women's basketball coach Stephanie Carrillo and coach uh, a tough week with a couple of losses uh, against some uh, teams that put themselves perhaps back into the race for the conference tournament and then Wheaton who really repelled them but it really sets up a battle for the last spot in the CCIW tournament with three teams just one game behind you so what's the feeling in the locker room knowing that despite you, that you still control your own destiny? Yeah, uh, last week was a tough week. Definitely not how we uh, saw the week to go, but we are definitely putting it behind us, learning from it, uh, and know you know the only thing we can do is look forward and, and take care of the games in front of us because they're the most important games right now. Looking back one more time on the Carthage game on Wednesday, lost at the buzzer, trailed by 15 in the fourth quarter, but it seemed like you got exactly what you wanted on that final possession for Carthage. You get the ball out of Morgan Harris's hands, who had just been really brutal against you guys uh, both times, and you get it to a person who has shot one of seven from three-point range on the season. The odds are right in your favor, but she knocks down the shot. Uh, were you happy with the defense despite the result? Uh, yeah, at the very end, yes. I don't think we could ask for anything else. Like you said, we got it out of, you know, their best player's hands. And then, you know, for a person to step up who, like you said, hasn't been really shooting well and for her to, to drain it, you know, in that pressure situation, you definitely give her credit for being able to do that. Uh, I think previous, our, our defense early on in the in the game, probably I I'm, I'm definitely wasn't as happy as probably what I could have been. But on the last play, you can't ask for anything else did give up 78 points, but trailing by 15, you were able to come all the way back in the fourth quarter and then Efford's tough layup in the mid post, able to tie the game with just eight seconds left. What explains that turnaround in the fourth quarter? You know, we've, we've seen this off and on this year of just sometimes our, our, our team will just all of a sudden decide to turn it on when we've, we, sh we should have be probably turned on the whole game. And, um, you know, they just really dug down and you know, things started going our way, and I think when a few things start going your way, you start getting momentum behind you, more confidence back, and then that kind of led for us to almost, you know, win the game. Claire Monroe had a really good game against Carthage, struggled a little bit against Wheaton, but against Carthage, 15 points, 4 of 6 for beyond the arc, one of her best games of the season, 12 of her 15 in the fourth quarter. How important is it going to be for her as a senior, one of the seniors in the regular rotation, to step up in the final three games of the season? It's definitely huge. I mean, you know, especially like you said, she's a senior, you know, she's been in the spotlight. She knows what it takes for sure to um, win these basketball games. So we really need a good performance from her and, and for her to be able to shoot well from the outside. And if for some reason her shot isn't going, then for to make sure she's crashing the boards because she, she can really kind of be um, – just annoying, I feel like, to other teams by the way she sneaks in there and steals the ball and gets jumped ball. So she's got to make sure that she's doing all, all parts of the game besides just not shooting threes. Tough loss against Wheaton where he really struggled on offense especially. Uh, how do you put a loss like that behind you and focus on the next three games? Because these next three games are against three of the toughest teams in the conference. Yeah, you know, definitely after that is kind of – you just sit down and, and you got to just let it go. As ugly as that game was, especially on our end, of just not being able to click on the, the offensive end. And uh, we have to put it behind us. We have to just get back to the fundamentals of, of what got us to where we're at, you know, right now and just, you know, look forward. Looking forward, we in North Park on Wednesday after limiting Liz Rayberger to, I believe, 3 of 11 from the field the first time. How do you repeat that and complete the sweep? She's such a good player that uh, it's definitely going to be hard to do. It's it's definitely not just one person. It's a it's a team effort. You know, the first time she got in a little bit of foul trouble. So to say this time, I don't I don't know what's going to happen for that. But we're definitely going to keep our eye on her and then make sure that we do a nice job on their other players. And then North Central on Saturday. Now that you've seen how the Cardinals operate, some of the players had never seen North Central before. Do you think that's going to help? And how do you make adjustments this time around to limit the turnovers? Yeah, I, I definitely think the second time around, and especially be at home, it's going to be senior day. Uh, you know, the, just the the motivation for sure, since it's against North Central, is going to be there besides all the other stuff that's going on. So I think the second time around for our kids seeing it, understanding the pressure, I do think that's going to help. But, you know, it comes down to handling the pressure and being able to get it across without turning over the ball. So that's something that once we get past North Park, we will we'll definitely focus on for two days. Before we let you go, I just want to ask a little bit about the senior class. You have four seniors that you're going to be honoring uh, on Saturday. Just uh, reflect a little bit on, on their path through uh, Elmer's basketball and what they've meant to the program. You know, I was looking at pictures the other day, and it's just it's hard to believe that four years has gone by. You know, this is a group that uh, – 
for the most part, for they were brought in to be more uh, outside shooters, to be three-point shooters, because we really definitely needed that. And they have done that over the years. And a lot of them have got uh, many games underneath their belt, either from starting or coming in off the bench. And I, I mean, I definitely couldn't be more prouder to uh, have coached them for the last four years. Well, thank you for joining me here and enjoy the senior day festivities on Saturday. Thank you.